Inventing something is simple. After all, in the movie Robots, they do say, see a need, fill a need. And that's the whole inventing process, right? Well, it can be. But there is a bit more to it if you actually want to get into it and make a good invention. And those are the basic steps. I mean, the whole idea of inventing is to create something new, something that fills a need. So yes, you can bring it down to the basics of see a need, fill a need. But in those two steps, there are lots of other smaller steps. What I am specifically referring to is the design process, which is a basic set of steps which allows you to go from understanding the problem to creating the solution. So given that a design process is a good idea for going through your invention of your design, what is the design process? You've got the two basic steps, see a need and fill this need. What else could there be? So let's break it down. When you see a need, you're identifying a problem. You're identifying something that requires a solution. So your first step here should be to understand the problem. What is the problem? Why is it a problem? This is the stage where you want to ask questions and get the background, get the full picture of why are you trying to design something? Because before you can figure out what you want to design, you need to know why you have to design it. It's no use designing a bike if you need to go to the moon. I mean, they're both forms of transport, but they're very different forms of transport. Now it's good to understand the why, but you also need to understand why the why. This involves translating what you've taken in through this understand stage. What needs to be done? Or more specifically, what outcomes need to be achieved? If you do this stage right, not only will, be, will you be able to sort out exactly what needs to be met, but you can also cut out anything superfluous, anything that you thought needed to be met, but really, it doesn't actually need to be there in the grand scope of things. So now you've seen your need, you've understood what the need is and you've synthesized it into something which is much more visible and much more obvious about what the need actually is and why there is a need. So the next major step is to fill this need. Mm -mm, good food. Filling a need involves the next step, which is to synthesize your ideas. This means that you create ideas or generate ideas. This is simply the brainstorming process of figuring out what could fill those ideas. And the ideas are what come before the prototype. So you want to create good ideas. Once you've created the good ideas, you present them. So the synthesis stage is everything up to this point. It is the creation of the ideas and the presentation of the ideas, but as ideas. Now we have covered prototypes in another video. So check that out, I'll leave a link to that below if you wanted to check out all of my description on prototypes. The prototype is there to test an idea, it's there to figure out whether the idea works or not, get an answer. It is a presentation of an idea in a physical form. It's a handmade version of an idea, usually to get an answer for something, preferably a yes or no answer. A prototype is and should never be a final version of the product. It should always be something that answers a question or proposes a question to be answered. Today to George's Hill, the crack of dawn, the Sparrow's Fart, to come and watch the Festival of the Feet. So once you've finished with your prototypes and you've answered all the questions you want to answer, you come up to the testing phase. Now this is the final test. These are objects that could be a final product. Now these should also be as close as possible to the manufacturing process that will happen for the final products. Ideally, these will be final products that you're just testing and making sure that work correctly. Try and test out the safety factor of the device and to make sure that it lasts long enough. For example, the testing facility at Dyson, they run the vacuum cleaners, they hit them with wooden boards over and over again thousands of times to figure out exactly how long they will last. 
if your product lasts well through the tests, then hey presto, you've got a good product. Get it out there in the market. Get selling. By doing this, you have filled a need. We've already got some just with you. You had a fun day, Dad? Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? You know, you're videoing this. Yes. <laughs> So yes, as a basis, you can simplify it to just be see a need, fill a need. But break it down and you have understand, translate, synthesize, prototype and test. Let us know about your experiences with the design process. Leave a comment in the comments section below. Be awesome, go out there, have an awesome day or night or whatever time it is where you are. Hit the like and subscribe button if you can and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.